professional streamer, by the way. <laughs> what is up? How's it going? Uh, so, where do I need to be? I need to be bottom right. I bet I'm, I honestly forgot where I put my camera. But I'm right, I think. Let me check. Oh, Session three. To do driving. Yeah, bottom right. Bottom right. You guys go there. Boom. Sorry. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, starting early today. Um, because I have some plans at 8 later, so I figured I'd do 12 till 8 rather than 2 till 10. Um, apologies if I ruined your schedule for watching me. My bad. That is indeed my bad, and I'm sorry, okay? All I'm gonna say is I'm sorry. Uh, and some cool news, um, something that I did... So, you guys remember when I played that, uh, Terminator mod? Um, I, I uploaded it to archive.org. I don't know if I mentioned this on stream, actually. I don't remember. I think I did. But the Terminator 2 mob was, like, a pain to find, and it was, like, almost lost media. So I put it onto archive.org so that it would never be lost, in theory. Um, my next thought was then, well, why don't I do that for, like, all the random GTA files that I have? Because, like, quite a few of them are, like, random old mods that might not even be publicly available anymore. Uh, so I've archived pretty much like everything I have GTA wise. Um, obviously some stuff was like private stuff that was sent to me. So I haven't uploaded that. Like a good example being a uh, Powdernet's mod for San Andreas that he's been working on for ages. He sent me like a working build months ago and I still have it. Like obviously that is not supposed to be public. So I'm not uploading that. But anything that was previously public and people wouldn't mind. Um, I've backed it all up on archive.org. Um, yeah. Well, I'm still I'm still finishing um, doing it. It's doing it in the background, but the good thing about archive.org and the bad thing is that you upload files so slowly to them that it doesn't actually like cripple your internet. So I'm streaming right now while uploading data to archive.org because it uses like one meg of my fucking 75 upload. So. So long as our custom hot coffee mod is still secret, as I say, anything that you've sent to me that isn't public and you don't want to be shared is, is not there, including all the secret mods that you've sent me. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, let's go and uh, do some more challenging challenges, shall we? Let's do it. Uh, small window. I think everything should be set up as normal. Um, display, advanced, 1600 by 900. Am I ready for more pain and suffering? I'm ready for more quality and engaging mods. Uh, gameplay. That's what I'm, that's what I'm excited for. Alright, where do we get to? Yaka Boom Boom is done. We did San Fierro. That's cute. But that also means that logically we should do zero now. And that's not cute. I don't like zero. That's not great. Yo, Super Black White, 55 streams. What an absolute boy. Legit number one fan. Don't know if I mentioned this, but I got GTA 1 and 2 on Steam recently. How did you get them on Steam? I've wanted them on Steam for a long time, but I refuse to pay, like, CD keys for a fucking thing for it. Yo, Siraj, thanks for the GL. Hope you're well. No snip again. My bad. There you go. Hey, oh, come on, man. Move it. Uh, are you a banger on me? I just paid up. It wasn't that bad of a price. How much did you pay out of interest? Do you say one and two are on my abandoned way? Exactly. But some people want them specifically on Steam, myself included. But out of principle, I don't pay them. If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counterattack. They're driving pretty fast. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. 
All right, we still have a minigun. Oh, that is really quick, I think. And we have a fucked up... Um... Oh, and there's also half... Half health already. Half health, shitty crosshair, and they go really fast. So we've got to be quick. Alright. A decent challenge, I would say. Oh, fuck. No, I, I missed one. I was too busy trying to look at this one, these, this group over here. Less time as well, I think. So you don't have to defend it for as long. Usually these guys are a threat. But they're not in this because they don't get there quick enough. Alright, there we go. Nice. 40 euros. Um, it was a bundle of all the GTAs, but I only got GTA 1 and 2. That's fair enough. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Not a bad change. Good start. Because that just makes it more difficult, but it's still fun. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his I have a feeling, if I'm going to guess, the one change of this is that it's going to have the PS2 fuel. So to those who don't know, um... On, on on the first PS2 release, um, you you don't you get half as much fuel, but people found it too difficult, um, so it was the mission was nerfed, the difficulty was nerfed in later versions and on PC and stuff. So you have twice as much. My guess would be that you have half as much. So it has the regular PS2 mount, if I had to guess, but I'm not sure. Um, whereabouts is the furthest away one? Oh, this one on the right is like right here, so we'll go for that one. Yo, Bush, welcome. Wasn't the PS2 fuel mechanic that it would run out regardless of movement? I think that already happens regardless, no? But I'm not actually sure on that, so don't quote me. Two left, which one's closer? Okay, they're both pretty far away. Left one's closer. Yo, Veldin, welcome. The challenge is to not run out when you're not throttling. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I guess we'll see. If we if we fail this the first time, we'll um, we'll, you know, we'll let go of W and like glide and see if it's any easier. I don't know if it's better to stick to the things or if it's better to go like up and around. But we're definitely losing fuel very quickly. So yeah, it's definitely been um, halved, I think. Die? Why are these guys not dying? We don't like, we definitely don't have enough fuel to get back. The issue is, is I don't know the most efficient route to kill these guys. Let's just glide and see if it helps, because we're going to fail if we don't, so. Everyone, zoom in your monitors on the fuel thing and tell me if it goes down. I don't think it is going down. I don't think it went down. Okay, so if we do fail, we know for next time that we can uh, glide a bit more and we should be okay. 
All right, now now we just go back. Let's flip back. I'm watching on a huge 4K TV. Yeah, let me know. It, it's honestly hard to tell if it's going down. Like, I'm looking at it and I legit can't tell. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. So I don't understand why you need to actually fly the plane back instead of just abandoning it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if you, if you destroy Zero's toy, he fucking cries, basically. Need to accelerate a bit here to get some height to go over the rooftop. But we're good. This is fine. Again, a, a minor change, but a, but a change. And it's not bad. It's more skill-based. You can make less mistakes before failing. I don't really have a problem with this. Compared to the rest of it, the zero chain is, is good. Like, there's always room for improvement, but it's not bad by any means. Curious about this one, because this is already a proper geeky mission to start off with. Uh, you need a plank to start off with, I think. Wait, how do I pick up something? Carl, don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. I thought you picked up stuff by my... Oh, no, you don't. It's right control. There we go. There's a barrel and a bridge? Or what? What's the deal with this? Carl, I'm blocked. Does he just drive over this? Is, is this bugged or...? He just drives over it, okay. That's weird, but sure. Uh, he's blocked over here too. I miss some Fiora, were there any bad memes? Uh, Jizzy was one of the worst missions I've ever seen. It's invisible on purpose? I don't know, like that feels like a bug, but I'm honestly not sure. It's kind of impossible to tell. Must be a D reference? Sure. Is it worth making your thing look bugged for the sake of a meme? Like I don't know. Get a plank from our base and make a bridge across that gap. I think you have far less time in this as well. Um you definitely don't usually only have like three minutes. Uh I need to go and grab I might as well grab this one, it's right here. But you also don't have any spare helis? Yeah, maybe not. You hear that Jizzy Vid brought me here? Welcome, Johnny B. Alright, what do I need next? Killed the tank. Berkeley's using tanks. Carl, grab a bomb and get rid of any tanks that threaten our progress. Going this way. Yo, Eagle, welcome. Move this out the way. Uh, another tank. There we go. Need another bridge. We just gotta keep him moving. We just can't have him stuck too much. Yeah, one of the biggest strats in this mission, if you're ever looking for advice, if you struggle with it, is you can uh, drop barrels on tanks, so you never have to get bombs. Really, you can just um, you can just drop barrels on them twice, and they'll blow up. So you never have to go back for a bridge because that's really slow. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Oh shit! Drop that. Move it. Like sort of pro tip, I kept going for the bombs. Yeah, I mean the game doesn't communicate it with you. So I, I didn't know it for the longest time until I learned speedruns, because, you know, why would you assume that it works that way? But it's just something that you learn after fucking hundreds of hours of playing these weird missions, all the quirks and stuff. Hopefully he's fast enough. I don't know if 30 seconds is enough for him to get around here. 
most important thing is just don't get him blocked on anything. I think I missed. And I lost my fucking thing. Fuck's sake. Push out the way. What is he stuck on? He's not stuck. He's just taking too long. I think I, I, I messed it up too much at the start. Yeah. Failure. I only... I, I, I fucked it up at the start. Because I got him stuck. Yo, Shara, thanks for the good luck. Have fun. Um, but yeah, I, I got confused by the start. Because I thought I needed a bridge, but I didn't. We just need to get this barrel out of the way. The important thing is just keeping him moving. Be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. And then get a bridge. Is he good? Yeah. I think that uh, barrel's gonna drop, so I'm gonna just go back for it. Okay. Yeah. Can use this one to maybe kill a tank if there's one nearby. Yeah, this one. Early gaming? Yeah, Axio, you know me. Wake up, grind. That's my mindset. Using tanks. Yeah, yeah, I know, chill. Have a bomb and get rid of any tanks that threaten our progress. There we go. We need another bridge in a sec, I think. Yeah, a bridge over there. I think once bombed that enemy heli and it never de respawned. That's a strat that you could probably pull off, yeah. I never tried it because there's no need to, but it would make things a bit easier. My dentist said I grind in my sleep. He's the real one for that. Always on that grind. 24 hours a day. We're making much better time now. I'm just gonna make sure he doesn't get stuck by any rogue barrels that what's his face plates plants down like yeah like this, which wasn't there before, but then he's placed it down since. Carl, I'm blocked. Yeah yeah, chill. Okay, he goes round. There's another barrel blocking him here. The tank. Yeah, we're doing much better for time now. Bro, pick up the fucking barrel, man. Oops. That probably wasn't smart to be that that close. Could I get that? that. Arrow as well. Move it, Carl. Berkeley's blocked me again. There we go. We good? Oh, I think he just drives right past that. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Not too bad. Just got trolled the first time. <laughs> all good. Berkeley there you go. Look at that. Loser are a loser. Almost first tried all three missions back to back. That would have been a flex. And get out of but. my town, Carl. You were all a duelist like me could want in a second. Zero done. Sir, I salute you. A decent mission chain, yeah. Incredible. Like, not a ton of innovation, but honestly, I would rather have not a lot of innovation, but good, challenging changes than, you know, anything that pretends to be innovative, but it's just bullshit, you know? Uh, I'll take the blade. Uh, we'll do driving school while we're here as well, because we need that to unlock one cars later. Which I completely forgot about. It's supposed to be a hard mode, not a mission pack? Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I don't ever expect crazy innovation. It's cool when it happens. But the baseline should be regular missions, but harder, right? But fair harder. 
Like, just making them unfair for the sake of it just isn't interesting. I don't know if the driving score has changed. I have no idea. By the way, just so... Like, this might be completely vanilla. I don't know. I don't enjoy those missions. So I have a feeling the next ones are terrible again. Maybe. Wonder if replays have some kind of insta-kill mechanic. They probably don't, but I haven't used them because, you know, casual playthrough and all that. Is a Victoria instead of a cop car for this. So it is modified, but maybe just slightly. Maybe just some of the vehicles are changed. Or I guess it might even be accidental changes because there's always a chance that the reason I used a Victoria there instead of an SFPD car is because the SFPD like car model or like the ID was modified to be the Victoria because then the SFPD cars are completely rebuilt and, and buffed a lot. So that might not have been an intentional change. It might just use the, the model ID for the SFPD and it just so happened to be the Victoria in the new list. For all we know. And when I thought you had to do driving school to progress the story, a lot of people think that. Same with Zero's missions. Same with um, doing Demolition Man in Vice City. And Avery's, the rest of Avery's missions, like. Alright, I've never landed on my side like that before, but that works. Oops, uh, wrong button. I see a marker on my map, I clear that marker, simple as. Yeah, that's fair enough. Can't really argue with that logic. I forget which way you have to spin for this. Is it this way? Yeah. There we go. Not a bad driving school. That's probably the fastest I've ever done it, to be honest. I only made like really minor fails on a few ones. Flying School was one I couldn't do on PC, so I brought the PS2 version and managed to complete it. That's fair. Flying on keyboard isn't really that intuitive if you're not used to it. Um, so I can understand why some people might struggle with it. Obviously, when you've got like hundreds of hours, anything feels intuitive, but I can definitely agree that it isn't by default compared to controller, which is way more intuitive. But reminder that this game does support uh, X input controllers and you can use a mod if you want to use G input controllers as well so that you can use a controller on PC so if you want to fly exclusively with a controller you can do that without too much modification SA is the only game I can fly on keyboard with I'll, I'll fly on keyboard by default with like everything if I can but I definitely understand that it's not as good as controller in a lot of places. Eventually managed to complete it on PC. Haven't had much trouble with it since, yeah. I, I definitely struggled with it the first time I played it on PC, especially with like destroy targets and stuff. Because I didn't know the, uh, the minigun was a thing. Like the helicopter um, machine gun. That makes it so much easier. Can you use a flight stick? I mean, if it's USB and X input or G input, then yeah, probably. I don't see why you, uh, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. All right, we'll quickly make a save just in case auto save screws me or anything, and then we'll we'll head on with our life. Hello. Oh, we could even do these now, actually. I thought you needed to do interdiction first. Or oh, not interdiction, um, hijack. But I guess it's just yay kaboom boom that you need, plus driving school. So we can do these now. 75k, it's expensive. A GTA SA run, but you have to use mouse steering for cars. Sounds terrible.
What is this? Get on the fucking bike all that, man. Make up your mind. Is set to pick up on cell phone signals. Uh, the strat for this is like you go this way, right? And you just find her right here. Don't know if it even works in these mods. You know, speedrun strats that I'm not too familiar with. There she is. She's got the same car and everything. I don't know if she's faster. I'm not too familiar with these missions because I rarely do them, so. If you see a change, let me know. But these might not be modified either, I'm honestly not sure. She feels faster, but maybe that's just me being shit. Pretty sure from memory you can just like shoot her out as well. Oh, well, she's just driving the other way. Okay. I could have sworn that she would get assigned to that path, but no, she's just straight up gone. Fair enough. Back. My car's fucked as well. Yeah, Through the Fire and Flames is a legitimately good song, even though it's like memed into oblivion. It is a legit good song. There we go. Yeah, this feels normal, to be honest. Apart from these guys coming to shoot me, I guess. Watch out for the repo guys. I guess that's the change. The change, even. Seems like a very minor change, though. Never knew you could shoot her. Shoot her again. Neither did I until I saw a speedrun years ago. All right, all good. Clean. Car barely in one piece. <laughs> I think Guitar Hero boosted Dragon Force sales by like seven hundred percent when it came out. Yeah, probably. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Uh let's take this. Is this shop any different from any of other regular mod shops? To be honest, I've never used it, so I have no clue. No idea. Dude, the Fire and Flames is good, but songs like Operation Ground and Pound hit more for me. That's fair. Operation Ground and Pound is a good song as well. As is uh, Heroes of Our Time, one of my favorite Dragon Force songs. What is this car? It's just a modified cheetah. I don't think he's wrapped too tight. He just sees everything from a different perspective. That's all. At first, I thought he was just another asset. You can mod those cars you steal in when cars way more in that shop. Okay, that's a cool change. I didn't know that was a thing. This is it. Ah, you a maniac, yes, eh? All right, same cars. Elegy and Sultan. My favorite Dragon Force song is Ashes of the Dawn. I don't think I've heard that one. Should listen to it. Uh, send me it on Discord and I'll give it a listen. Otherwise, I'll forget. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Same mission, except you get shot with shotguns and get your tires popped. Okay. Are we back to bad changes now? At least we had, like, what, four missions before a stupid change was there? Oh, well. I knew it wasn't going to last forever. We made we made good use of it. Okay, 
Okay, Caesar. That's enough fun. Let's get these cars back to the garage. Okay, CJ. Hey, I know a quick route. This looks even goofier when it's on rails because of the uh because of the police cars being buffed. Enemies behind corners is such a 90s design, yeah. Nice flip. One little uh trick before you hand in the things. Hand in the cars. Back to bad design. Oh well. Then it's you on Discord, thank you. Yeah, I'll definitely forget otherwise, like eight hours down the line, I'll just How are we gonna steal a car will not remember at all. You know, the same way they got home. Use a dock side crane. Man, those things are real high up. I ain't too good with ladders, and I'm afraid of heights. Okay. Get out the way, dude. You better be ready to crack the container. Fucking input delay on these savannas is so gross. Feels worse than vanilla. I'm not sure if it is or if I'm just coping, but it honestly feels like there's more input delay with these cars. CJ. Okay, I'll go sort out the Caesar. None of these is marked with spray paint. Well, we'll just have to try one at a time, eh? Just looking stuff up, Dragon Force received only 3k total for all royalties made by the game. Jesus, that's not a lot. Paid in exposure, XD. Do I let go? Oh, left mouse. Not this one, CJ. <laughs> well, how many metal funds is Song of Tyra three made? I'll give you some uh, Eben law for you. Um, the way I learned metal wasn't actually from a game. It was um, one of my sisters were briefly dated somebody. They only dated for like, I don't know, fucking. I, I couldn't even tell you, but it wasn't a long time. Like I, I met this guy once and I never met him again. Uh, but he came around to our house one time and I was on our laptop. We had like a laptop in the kitchen. Don't ask why. It was because that was where like the router and stuff was or the modem at the time. It was on the kitchen table, all wired in. You couldn't use it wirelessly or anything. It was one of those laptops. And uh, he, I think I was listening to music and he was like, oh, do you want me to show you some music? Because he was like a metal guy. And I was like, sure. And he showed me uh, Tears Don't Fall by Bullet For My Valentine. And that's what got me into other genres of metal and stuff. So, some random ex-boyfriend of my sister's. CJ, I could do with some help was how I got into metal. What guns do these guys have? Big ones, I think. Oh no, they just have uh, the silenced FMGs. I want this. This thing's busted. Hey, hold it right there. I could do with a little help, CJ. Caesar just like runs out and gets himself fucking blooded every time as well. Stay right there, you thieving bastard. Let's just get the car and get out of here. That M4? It is. Yoink. Alright. You should have married him. 
All the Tony Hawk games have a lot of metal. I wouldn't call Tony Hawk soundtracks metal. I would say that they're more rock. At least I can't think of any metal songs on there. On the old Tony Hawk games. Yeah, more, more punk. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Definitely not metal, either way. Whether it be punk rock, uh, punk rock or whatever. Bro. Sorry. That was like a piece of tortilla, Holmes. Prescott if I had bring the noise by Anthrax and Prescott if I had number of the beast. Fair enough. But I would again I would say mostly rock. If they had a few metal songs, then fair enough, but Yo Sam Squanch, welcome. Uh you did actually miss a chain of four missions where there was legitimately nothing bad to say about them. They were actually quite good. But now we're back to underwhelming again. I'd rather have underwhelming than bullshit, but I'd rather have decent than... Uh, you reckon he fixed the import-export glitch? Uh, probably not, if I had to guess. This car's slow as shit, man. Hurry up. Oh, what a song. Been to any metal concerts or shows lately? I've only ever been to one, like, proper concert. Um, and that was a Bullet For My Valentine concert, like, a few years ago in Hull. Uh, so no, I, I don't go to, like, concerts frequently. I'd like to, but not a lot of people come here, sadly. I usually, you'd probably have to go, ah, oh, nice, four stars, good. Uh, yeah, you'd, you'd probably usually have to get, like, you'd have to go to, like, Manchester or Liverpool or Leeds or something, usually, to, to see bands. At least a little enjoyment while it lasted, yeah. What missions were they? Uh, it was, uh, Zero's chain of missions. They're all good. They're all okay to good. Which is very good for this mod. Yep. Instantly killed from not even smoking to dead. From one cop car. Yep. Back to complete fucking bullshit. Those collisions with the police cars are like so hilarious. The fact that you can have, like, half health and just get rammed once and you instantly set on fire. It's, it's so unfair. So stupid. Uh, one thing I will say um, regarding concerts is I am going to see a Slipknot with Tane in London um, in December this year. And I think we were going to go and see another one, but I don't think that's, like, booked in yet. But yeah, I'm excited to go and see Slipknot. I think that'll be a, quite an experience. Go to the Anthrax Testament and create one in Manchester. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. To say, like, Manchester is, like, reasonable for me to travel to for concerts. I should do that more often. Uh, can this fucking car decide where it's going to go so I can throw stingers? Nope, alright. It's just going to... Okay. How am I supposed to stinger it if it's doing this shit? Like, it's just not driving on a road. It's just doing circles. Got it. Fucking freaky car, man. Okay, let's try that again, but let's get luckier. That's the plan. I've only been to two shows. Same. I have only been to two shows. I saw Hadouken first uh, when I was young. When I was like 14, 15. Um, and I saw Bullet for My Valentine a couple of years ago. 
All right, we're already low health, good. Uh, I'm gonna come off the freeway because I think it might be giving me trouble. I'm gonna go on the grass away from all the cops and shit. Flights are cheap from Ireland, so I usually just fly into Manchester or London for concerts. Shit, that makes sense. Uh, I thought that was a cop car that was ramming me from behind. It's a train. <laughs> that was almost really bad. I've seen Iron Maiden live every time they've come to Newcastle since 2006. That's cool. Is it like a yearly thing or just like whenever they're there? I don't know how often those bands tour anymore. Whenever they're here. That's still cool though. Alright, all done with one cars. Started off okay, took a nosedive. Yo MC fan, welcome. Yeah, the train somehow has less ramming force than a cop car, which is very surprising, yeah. Alright. Let's uh, skedaddle onto Monster. I think I saw Foreigner and Whitesnake in Newcastle. Forget the forgot the venue, but it was amazing. I've never been to Newcastle. I, sh I should go. I'm not that far away. I'm only like an hour away. Yo, Relics, welcome. Uh, game's going fine. You know how it is. Ooh. Perfect. I'll show you the sights of Newcastle. Tour guides. That's what I want. Otherwise, I'm not coming. Oh, gun. Good gun, too. Dunk. Uh, yo, Turner, you missed me doing Zero's missions and one cars. That's about it, probably. Means I can show you the market where they do the most bust in pizza. I'm not a big pizza guy, so you'll have to convince me. Oh, look at this fucking monster truck. Alright, <laughs> sure. There's a KDES thing on the front of it as well. It's faster than a regular monster as well. Wee. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. It's bouncy as hell. Whoa! Fucking hell. Everyone always says Birmingham is shit, but when I th when I went, I thought it was class. I've never had anything bad to say about the place of Birmingham. For me, it's the people. Rummies disgust me. Rancid dogs. Disgusting. Street trash. Urchins. Right then. Sorry, I just I just had to get that out. Hey look, more crap. LOL explosive barrels. Lived in Brum for a year and it was pretty based. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Nah, jokes aside. Legit, I I've been to Birmingham so many times. And places around it and don't have anything bad to say about it. The only thing I will say bad about the actual location of Birmingham is fucking getting trains out of New Street is a fucking ball ache. It's always so busy there. But that's just a big city thing. It's the same in London. Traveling around London is a massive pain in the ass if you don't know exactly where you're going.
Whoa! Barrels. I went to Birmingham for insomnia, I think, in 2019. I met Pyro Cynical. Real shit. My condolences. It's your rifle. I'm Dave. pretty sure that was a tank commander rifle, actually. For a tourist friendly city, London isn't particularly easy to get around as a visitor. Oh no, unless you do it every day and you learn, it's a massive ball like. I I hate it. Ben had a penny for every random explosive barrel we saw in this game. I'd be a fucking millionaire, dude. I'd have like a hundred pennies. Yo, Pusher, welcome. Uh, usually not sub squanch, but it depends on the game. And yeah, they usually have like readmes included in the installation. Or on the website, it'll tell you what you need to boot it and how to play it and stuff. The time went red, does that mean I fail? Oh, I need to be under four minutes. Okay. You're not what the boss is looking for. I was I was five seconds off and I was flipping around for half of it. Rip. Rip in peace. Gotta go a little bit faster. Just a tinsy wincy little bit faster. You like tea? Not really. Not really a hot drink kind of guy. Woo! Speed. Yo, PHP, welcome. Would you believe me if I told you that this mission has a uh, random explosive barrels? Hoggers. I don't even know if it's faster to go this fast and then spin around a bit, or if it's better to just drive slow. I don't know. Why the comet? I don't know. I didn't make it. Yo, McGugan. It's for every explosive barrel in the mod, 500 bits? Goddamn. Thank you, bro. You're probably not far off, to be honest. Yo, Alola. I'll try my best. I might still be able to make it, but it's unlikely, I think. Yeah, I, I need to be up here, there's no way. Not a chance. Yo, Prav, thanks for the GL. Where's yep. a shotgun guy into each checkpoint? Real shit. Uh, this isn't really about luck, Kurix. 
Because it's not luck whether you flip or not. It's like entirely dependent on your input. Like physics aren't random. Do you need to know the route? Absolutely. But I wouldn't argue that this is luck based. I would argue the barrels being there are stupid and unnecessary, just like in every fucking mission. But they're obviously just there to be insta-kill traps, which is just shit design. But the actual idea of using this isn't luck based. I don't really have a pro- oh. Speaking of barrels, there's more of them in there that I didn't see. Yeah, like... This, this is what I mean. Like, that is the shit part of this mission. Learning to control a different vehicle is a cool idea, but the barrels ruin it. That's what I mean. Joshimus incoming. Why is it that every time... I get a Josh raid, there's always at least one person that comes in and is like, <laughs> Josh must raid incoming, guys. It's so weird. I don't get it. Thanks, Josh. Hope you had a good stream. When are you playing this mod? It's really good, I promise. Large audience increases chances. Yeah, fair point. Is it finished? I mean, yeah, 1.0 came out ages ago. Is it good? No. But it's finished. It's the it's the final update. I would argue that this is like a pre-alpha build, but the mod dev doesn't think so, so. Oh yeah, I heard that your capture card died, yeah, rip. Luckily for you, you're a millionaire, so you can um you can easily do it. Ugh. I've got to do this in under four minutes, so this is actually kind of difficult, because it's like bouncy as fuck. Yeah, I was just practicing my Tony Hawk skills, yeah. Yo, Halogen, welcome. Just only needs to play two hours of GTA for a new capped card, true. I keep going this way. I need to pull left because I this is slow going up here. I need to go this way. Alright, gotta avoid the barrels. There's some on the left side as well. I didn't see those last time. I when I when I bo both when I when I did this both times like the first two times, I managed to drive perfectly through the barrels and I didn't even see them. But they're on either side, like they're actually really easy to hit. Guess I won't spoil myself. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks again for the raid, man. See you later. We're on decent pace here. This is much better than last time. Gotta make sure that I don't flip it somewhere. Especially here. I need to slow down here. Because otherwise you just go flying off. That was slow, but at least I got done. How come one spoiled themselves is nothing has changed? True. Ah, oh, shit. Turn your lights off. We can't read the current. The lights are off. It's just fucking broad daylight outside, man. I was going to make a note, but I forgot, and you've reminded me to do it again, um, to add like a stroke so you can see it, you know, like a stroke around the text. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Sunlight in your basement? Yeah, I have a window right in front of me. See that micro? Thanks for hanging out. Yo, Endless Soul, welcome. Welcome to the flippiest car you've ever seen. Ooh. 
I think we're good. Seven checkpoints in a minute. I think that's winnable. Gotta not crash and flip and embarrass myself. Are we good? I don't know if I'm good. Fuck. Faster, faster, faster. No! No! Dude, I'm right at the fucking end. Oh, for fuck's sake. Unbelievable. Right at the end, I fail fucking twice. Ah, oh, shoot me, please. Fucking shoot me. How on earth are your lights off? So that's really simple. So you see this light here? That's on. That's off. When the light switch is off, that means the lights are off. Because the switch is tied to the lights. I hope that clarifies it. Today I learned. You learn something new every day. Go left. What type of script do they use to enable the on and off function? I don't know, dude. I'm not a electrician. Pass. Can you please explain again? No. Clip it and ship it. Come on, Ben, don't be condescending. Not everyone knows what a window is. True, my bad. Use AHK for your light scripts? No. AHK didn't have the functionality that I wanted. Sad to see you're stuck in the 1600s, man. Fellas, is it gay to have fucking light switches? Okay, Boomer. Super Black White walking in to watch his 600th Eben stream of the month. Walks in, picks up his um, like fucking remote control, custom made with a Raspberry Pi. Presses the Eben button. The shaders come down, like the windows close automatically. The LED strips come on. And like right, I love Eben on the wall. Um, a fucking helicopter comes and like, you know, paints like a love heart out of his window with like the smoke. Stream loads up. Monitor comes down from over the top of his head from the chair. Fucking speakers built in. The true experience. No, don't flip again. This thing does not flip back. It's fucking garbage. Come on! Fuck this fucking shit car. This mission's impossible. I'm actually hard stuck. Savannah 2.0, legit. Got limited edition Eben sex doll on my side. What the fuck? I told you not to fucking talk about that publicly, man. Your OK Boomer triggered my Google Assistant. You need to fire that Google Assistant. Get the fuck out of the way! To be fair, the OG monsters barely wanted to flip back to. True. True and real. How was Yaka Boom Boom? Fine. Pretty much the same as vanilla. Yo, 11 years. Thanks for the tier one. Welcome. Slow down and go faster. I'm trying my best. 
We're gonna buy the Eben Rabbit Girl costume figurines. What the fuck? Um, eben.store.com. I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. That's so weird. Why would you say that? So Ben, now you're a full-time streamer. When are you planning your first controversy cancellation? Uh, were you not here in the first stream I did of this mod? I've already been cancelled by um, everybody who's a weird defender of this mod. And the devs Twitch viewers, of course. Because we all know on Twitch, the best thing to do is if your streamer tells a story, uh, just take their word for it, rather than look at both sides of the story. <laughs> Even though there's like, you know, proof and evidence as to what happened, because, you know, it was live streamed. The, 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 the way to go is to just take what the, the person that you believe, you know, says, and that's just it. That's the truth, that's, that's what happened. Because we don't have time to sit around and listen to both sides of the story. That's fucking boring. Why would I do that when I can jump to conclusions and get on with my day? And honestly, fair fucks to you, mate. Does it feel to be streaming eight hours a day? Feels fine, to be honest. The casual stuff helps a lot. Eight hours a day of this would make me fucking blow my brains out pretty quick, I think, but... Yeah, all in all, a pretty successful first week of being a full-time streamer, yeah. Um, I was late once, I barely kept to my schedule, and I already got uh, a load of people hating me. Pretty good. Got people tweeting me, calling me an asshole. Honestly, can't really argue with that. Good first week on the job. What is the casual uh, game today? I'm gonna hopefully finish Simpsons Hit and Run, if possible. Played it yesterday and got up to like halfway through Apu's level. So I'm hoping I can finish it. It does take years to achieve all that. I'm just better. Sounds like you're about to be promoted, maybe. Finished it today already? I mean, yeah, it's it's a fucking kids game. Don't go! Okay, we can still make this. Next on the list is a sponsorship from a dodgy company selling MLMs to children. I don't think I've had any sketchy um, sponsorship offers yet. I did get um, a message from um, the people who are doing the ExpressVPN deal, which is like a marketing agency, not actually ExpressVPN, um, that wanted me to do a charity stream for a charity called like Games for Love or something. And when I looked them up, because I always look up like charities and stuff if I'm not familiar with them. Um, when I When I looked them up, they they were working with soft giving. And I don't know if you guys know about the whole soft giving thing, but the TLDR is that soft giving was like an intermediary company between Games for Love, which is a charity, a non-profit, and anybody who's raising money for them. So you would raise money via the platform soft giving. Kind of like Tiltify, I guess, in a way, but different. But you get the idea. Um, and they pocketed a bunch of the donations, not the actual charity, I don't believe Games for Love did anything wrong, but I can't verify that. I, I'm not sure. But Soft Giving themselves pocketed a ton of donations that was supposed to go towards the charity. So, yeah. Shady as fuck practice. So, obviously, Games for Love, their, like, name is right next to that big controversy. So, like, I was curious, so I, I didn't get a reply yet, but I asked, you know, like, is this a direct thing with Games for Love, or are they working with some kind of, like, intermediary thing? Because if they say to me, like, oh, we want you to raise money through soft giving, no, not a fucking chance. Because, yeah, like, they literally pocket fucking donations. Like, I would rather do my own charity stream for, you know, via Tiltify that don't pocket donations. And, 
you know, then nobody gets scammed out of their money. Like, in my opinion, when you do charity streams, every fucking cent of that charity stream should go towards the charity. Like, I can understand some events taking, like, a portion, like a few percent, in order to cover running costs and stuff. I don't have an issue with that. But yeah, they, they pocketed like 40% or something ridiculous. That is inexcusable. That is just straight up charity fraud at that point. So yeah, like I'm not sure if that's going to happen because I need some more information. I'm not just going to take blindly take that and be like, yeah, sure. Or keeping subs bits on Twitch and clearly communicating that. Yeah, that's also fine. And also as well, to be like fully transparent, um, the reason it went through a marketing agency in the first place, rather than a charity contacting me, was because they wanted to do a drive to raise more funds and that resulted in paying people to do it. So when the in initial uh, soft giving thing happened, these people like OTK and all the big streamers like Asmongold and stuff that raised money for them, they were paid to do the charity stream. And I don't necessarily have a problem with people being paid to do charity work. Like, you know, at the end of the day, people's time is important. And if you can invest as a company X amount of money of your business profits into then, you know, the same as what you would do for advertising and things like that, and you would bring in way more donations that you wouldn't usually bring in. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with being paid. As long as you're transparent about it and you don't lie, I think there's a realm, of, you know, a reality where you can do that and it's perfectly ethical. But the problem is that soft giving lied about all this stuff. They never were transparent that they were, you know, that they were pocketing money, that they were taking part of it. And that was the big problem, at least in my eyes. Because that is just like fraud, basically. You're just lying to people about where their money's going. So yeah, like, I can't see whether that may or may not happen, because it was just literally a brief message. But, yeah. Either way, like, I hope you can all trust that I'm not going to take any sponsorships like that if they're, like, genuinely scummy. Like, it also depends where your morals stand as well. Like, Arup? I don't even know what the deal is with Arup. But a good example would be uh, Better Health, where they've literally been exposed. Because they're they sell you therapy, right? Um, and they've been exposed for, one, being an Israeli company, which is obviously not good in today's day and age, uh, but also selling the information of people, of their clients. So breaking, um, you know, What's the, what's the word? Like, patient-client privilege? Is that... No, client... Something privilege. You know what I mean. Like, you're not supposed to fucking sell the data of, like, people who are coming to you because they have suicidal thoughts or depression or whatever. Like, that is extremely scummy. Yeah, doctor-patient confidentiality. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like, they're a hugely scummy company. So if they approached me, I would say no, regardless of the deal. Yeah, it's like, it always depends, like, where your morals land. Like, like uh, raid sponsors are a good thing. Like, I've done raid sponsors before, and, like, they pay really well because they have a ton of fucking marketing budgets behind them, right? And for me personally, I think mobile games are, like, somewhere in between a good sponsor and a really bad sponsor like Better Health, right? Like, there's definitely some negativity there, and I completely understand why a lot of people don't like the game. But at the same time, like, I don't think it's nearly as bad as selling the fucking information of people who are, you know, like, either mentally unstable or have, you know, like, mental issues. I think that's way worse.
So, like, yeah, sort of gray areas. Like, those are different. And, like, you know, those are, like, a case-by-case -case basis. Like, I feel like, as someone who, who is now has this as, like, a business, if someone offers me, like, a gray area sponsorship, like Raid, but they pay, like, a fucking, you know, your year's salary, I feel like you'd be stupid to turn it down. Because, like, you're not really hurting anyone. Whereas, like, selling somebody, like, fake therapy can have some real long-term damage. So even if they offered you a stupid amount of money, I feel like it would be wrong to say yes. Hey, Kez Vision, welcome. Thanks for the good luck. Yeah, exactly, Mackenzie. That's how I feel. Um, yeah. Like, should, should you work and take a raid sponsorship? Probably not. Is it bad enough to the point where I would, like, stop watching somebody if they took a raid sponsor? No, absolutely not. But if people keep showing better health and they know that it's a bad thing and they keep doing it, I would argue for me personally, that is enough for me to stop supporting a creator because that is like scummy as fuck in my opinion. Like as, as I say, there's like, you know, there's, it's almost like a spectrum of morals. Gambling is the way to go. Gambling can also, I would argue, is like not a gray area, but like a, a black area. Um, like a good example is like, you know, like XQC, who has like a huge demographic of young people, young impressionable people. And he is getting paid like millions to, to basically promote gambling to children, right? Gambling addictions are like one of the worst addictions to have. They will ruin your life. I have seen it. I have had a friend who has had a gambling addiction and seen it in real time. And it can do some real fucking damage really quick. So promoting gambling to children is never okay in my book. Like part of me is thinking like, oh, get off a two million, you know, like go get that bag. But at the same time, it's also like XQC was already a millionaire before he took that sponsorship. He didn't need that money. It would be one thing if he was like a homeless streamer or something and they offered him two million and it would completely change his life. Would it still be scummy? Yes. Would I still lose a bit of respect for him if he took it? Maybe. Like it's difficult to say without it happening. But like XQC who is already a millionaire doing that, I think it's scummy as fuck. I'm one second off. Fuck, man. One second away. Sorry, pal. You're not what the boss is looking for. And I guess because people are speaking about it in the chat as well, and it's also relevant to the topic. So VPNs, right? So, personally, I, I have a, a thing with ExpressVPN, right? Do I think that ExpressVPN um, and other VPN companies, do I think that they lean into the, like, the scaremongering of, you know, the whole, like, oh, you need to protect your information, use a VPN, like, you need one. If you're doing any activity on the internet without one, you are at risk. Yes, I think they do. I think it's silly, personally. I didn't write that thing, you know? Like, I don't, uh, you know, necessarily agree with that. Do I think that VPNs are, like, a scummy sponsor? No. I think VPNs provide a good service. I just think that the messages that they provide are sometimes misleading. I think that's a fair way to put it. Is a VPN beneficial to you? Absolutely. It can allow you to access things such as region, you know, locked content and things like that. I personally think that VPN companies should lean more into that because that is just a straight benefit to everybody without needing to mislead and scaremonger to say like, oh, you're at risk if you don't use one. I don't think that's true. And it hasn't been for a long time. So yeah, like if, if you think I'm a scumbag for promoting a VPN company because of the fact that they, you know, there's a message in the chat saying like, you know, protect your information, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's fair enough. Like, you're entitled to your opinion. But, like, I, I disagree. I don't think that that is a, a bad sponsor to have. Um, and I don't plan to stop working with VPN companies unless there's something else to it. Like, you know, 
if another VPN company comes along um, and, you know, they're like the same as Better Health, where like they're selling your information to the fucking Israeli government, then absolutely not. But, yeah. Advertising passing region locks is too gray from a legal standpoint. That's fair enough. I'm not sure on the law surrounding it. I honestly don't know. Um, but I could understand why they might not want to. But you get the point that I'm trying to make, right? Like, I believe that promoting a VPN solely based on the fact that your information needs to be protected and you need to use a VPN, I believe that's disingenuous. Like, simple as. Nice traffic, by the way. I'm going to lose again by a second because of bullshit traffic. Extremely tight timer. You have to be perfect, but also there's random traffic on the street. You do a bunch of shit, cool shit with a VPN? Yeah, exactly. Like, I've never had an issue with uh, people having VPN sponsorships. I don't believe it's even a gray area, really. What's the challenge in this mission? You have four minutes to do it, and you have a custom vehicle that's extremely bouncy. Again, I had to dodge the traffic and ended up flipping as a result. Working with VPN companies isn't the problem. It's that you accept to publish that fear-mongering message even when you know it's scammy. Again, that's a fair point. But I would argue that anybody in my chat reading that message will read it and not be like, Oh my god, I need to get a VPN right now. Like, I don't believe that that message is having any negative effect on people watching my stream. To go back to the XQC example, if XQC was promoting gambling, but it was to exclusively adults who were never going to be impression impressioned or get impressions from it, then I think it would be a different story. The problem with it is that it's the fact that it's it will turn people to gambling and that will cause issues. Gambling itself isn't like a problem by itself, right? And I hope you know what I mean by that. Because like you are going in and you are making that conscious choice to lose that money, right? Like you're an, you're an adult, you go in, you lose the money. The problem is the fact that it's addictive and people can develop addictions. If there was no such thing as gambling addiction and everybody would just do what I do when I go to the casino occasionally and I just have a bit of fun, play a few games and then leave, then it wouldn't be nearly as much of a problem. But gambling addictions are very real and they are very bad when you end up having one. And that's the big issue with the XQC thing. And that's why I don't believe that the ExpressVPN message in my chat makes a difference because it doesn't it nobody in my chat is realistically buying a vpn because of that message at least i don't believe so if you've bought it because of that then let me know but i don't believe that's true because i can see the sales and i can see who's bought one and you know everybody so far i am confident that they are not doing it for the wrong reasons they're doing it because they want it for a beneficial reason But yeah, if I had the choice to change the message, I would do so. But I'm sure you understand as well, a lot of these companies don't allow you to write custom messages. You you have to put what they say in the contract or whatever, you know. I stopped watching a creator when they took a Temu sponsorship. That's completely fair enough. I don't know too much about Temu, but what I know is... Um, I'm pretty sure that's the company that just basically drops ships like garbage from China, right? Like really low quality products for the sake of being cheap. Like it is by definition basically a scam. You are just promoting things for cheap, but then in reality they're garbage quality, even though they're not advertised as such. That is like almost by definition a scam, you know? So yeah, I, I think that's a pretty shitty thing to do. 
maybe it's like gray area. It's hard to say, like, because I don't know exactly how they function, but yeah, it's definitely not a good sponsor to have, so. I just can't try a bit because I keep fucking flipping and hitting shit. Fucking idiot. It's almost like a physical junk version of G2A. Almost, yeah. This is why I've, uh, I really like doing Twitch bounties as well. Because Twitch bounties are like the best kind of endorsement, right? Like, it's just a game that you play for an hour, and they're not like scam games, like mobile games and stuff. Like, they're usually games on Steam that are well regarded. Like, we did Enshrouded the other day, we've done WWE, stuff like that. Uh, we did, um, what was that other one? That martial arts game where you get older every time you die? Sifu, I think it was called. Stuff like that, like well-regarded games. Like you can't say that having a sponsor of those games is is anything but, you know, beneficial to the streamer and not detrimental to the viewer, you know? Like those kind of things I think are great. I think the Twitch bounty board is really good for that kind of stuff. Um, one positive thing to say about Twitch. Because yeah, like there's there's no gray areas there. There's no there's no scummy companies as far as I'm aware. And yeah, like, as the streamer, you get paid a decent amount to play a game so you can, you know, buff up your numbers to potentially get towards, like, you know, surviving full-time or paying companies or whatever. Uh, paying bills, even. I, I read Halogen's message as I said that out loud. Um, and yeah, like, viewers enjoy them because they're not being fed garbage that they don't want because, you know, it's a game-viewing website. You're playing a game. It's the whole point of the website. Yeah. What if your bounty is to read out a pre-written message for Dick's Sporting Goods and you can't stop laughing? It's funny about that, because I don't know how much they're like, the footage is actually reviewed. Um, because whenever I've been paid for bounties, like, once I finish the bounty, within, like, you know, a short amount of time, like, an hour or so, the money comes through on my Twitch dashboard. So I don't know if that means that it just, like, automatically gives me the money and then it's watched later and they might rescind it. Or, I, I don't know, like... For all I know, you might be able to say whatever you want during a Twitch bounty thing, and most of the time you'll get away with it. Like, there's a good chance you might just, you know, say something shitty, and unless they, like, manually check it, which they don't always do, then you're fine. I don't know. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Also, the viewer can just leave for an hour and then come back if they don't like to change. Yeah, yeah luck. absolutely. Also, be in touch. Exactly. Like it, it, and people usually do it as an extra thing as well. So, you know, you, the viewers don't lose out. They just might lose, like, you know, the, the ability to not watch an hour of content, which they wouldn't be watching anyway. You know. Uh, thank you for the 45 months, by the way, Mackenzie. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Come back. What? Cause if you need a vehicle with some backup, we don't work for cheap. 2K. Call a bulletproof Patriot with an assistant. Holy shit. Bulletproof Patriot is probably very useful. Torino, bro, that's a spoiler. Oh yeah, true. That does just straight up spoil it, yeah. We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Pedro. Try it, please. I will do. I'll do it after this mission. Yeah, I, I forgot that the uh the Torino reveal isn't until uh that the the cutscene right then. I forgot that. Would you take a sponsorship to play a game that isn't your main interest, like a strategy game? Yeah, I would say so. Because again, like, even though I wouldn't usually play that game, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, there's nothing wrong with trying new games because a company wants to pay you for it. And again, like, 
it's not a scummy practice, you know? Like, it's just a different game to what I would play. Like, I still endorse games that I don't necessarily play myself, you know? Like, I, I like the idea of games that I'm not a big fan of, like strategy games, for example. I'm not a big strategy fan myself. I'm not very good at those game kind of games. But do I endorse them? Absolutely. Like, do I think you should play them if you like them? Yeah, 100%. I like this big cow, by the way, and these guys shooting me, and this guy going so fast, and we're dead, just like that. Cool. Alright then. Yeah, truck faster than NRG somehow. Good shit. I don't know how the missions are changed, no. This is all blind. Will I do this without pause buffering? Yes. Let's, uh, let's call this in. That's what these guys are like. There they are. Who's my assistant? Which one? This guy? Yeah. What gun does he have? He has an SMG. He's got a lot of health too, look. He's like almost as bulletproof as the Patriot is. God damn. This guy's cracked. Yeah. SQC was played to, uh, paid to play Yakuza 8. He didn't even know it's a JRPG. I mean... Let's be real, like, XQC doesn't exactly scream to be a person, uh, scream to be a person that, you know, is a well-versed gamer in a load of, like, genres. He just plays, like, he just played, like, Overwatch, bit of Minecraft, bit of state gambling, and that's about it, you know? So I, I'm not surprised that he isn't familiar with Yakuza games. Yo, Esbatics. Oh, Esbatics, welcome. We need to jack a Where are my guns? For some reason, I only had my fists out last time and I couldn't shoot these guys. But if you re enter the vehicle, you get your guns back. Plays whatever the hype game is, yeah, basically. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. It's a bad choice from Sega side? No, I don't agree at all. Regardless of what XQC does, paying him to to play a game one of their games for an hour will get millions of eyes on that product for a very small amount of that they would usually um they would they they would usually pay for an advertising budget to get millions of clicks it is a great idea to pay streamers no matter how poorly they do with your game can i kill this guy no it's too high up okay so you just can't kill these guys realistically and they're faster than you. And you can't use the lean forward thing because... Because of the fact that, you know, Caesar's on the back. So what are you supposed to do here? What, what, what's, the, what's the deal here? Drive on the other side of the road, but then how am I gonna get to the? How do, how am I gonna get to the place? So that it's the next to the van. If I just stay on the other side of the road, eventually I'm gonna have to move across, and then I lose the truck. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. This might be a dumb question, but does the Twitch bounty payment depend on how much, how many viewers you got on the stream? That's not a dumb question at all. Um, but yeah, it does. So usually what they do is they look at your, like, average viewers. Like, let's say I get, like, 200 average viewers, right? Um, they'll say, like, we'll put a maximum payout if you get 300 average during that sponsored segment. And we won't pay you anything if you get less than 100. And then it'll scale depending on between 100 and 300 how many you get. So if you get 250, you'll get most of the money that they're offering you. If you get 110, which is, like, barely the minimum, 
then you you won't get a lot of the money at all. Basically. You get like one chance to do this and then you're just dead, I think. Yeah. Because then it's shooting me as well and I'm dead. Yeah. Can you keep the game once you're done? Yes, you can. Which is another great thing as well. They send you a key. That is a permanent key to the game. So even after you're done with it, like when I did in Shrouded the other day, I have access to that game and I can play it whenever I want, which is really nice. We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. It's pretty cool in itself, yeah. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. Which game are we talking about? We're just talking about uh, sponsorships and Twitch bounties and stuff. If you're wondering why I'm taking this route here across the path, by the way, um, it's because when you drive on roads in San Andreas, they have a speed cap. Um, but this but this and other pathways don't. So it's actually faster to go across the pathways because you don't hit that speed cap. It's like an artificial speed cap in the game. And I'm dead just like that. <laughs> Did the same thing, didn't die last time, die this time. I wanted to ask you if you would, uh, if, if you, would you consider trying it more another time then? Trying what more another time? We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. And shrouded? I mean, yeah, sure. Like, I'm not opposed to playing that game again. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with uh, Kick, if that's what you mean, John Holmes. And the fact that they're owned by Stake and, yeah. Loads of uh, RuneScape streamers are getting bought out by Kick, including, like, Boaty and stuff. Um, which is interesting. Because Boaty has been very against um, sponsorship. Uh, gambling sponsors for a while and now all of a sudden he's signing with kick so they must have offered him a lot of money was that world of warship sponsorship i've never been approached by world of warships i don't think guess he sold a bag yeah i guess so I heard at some point as well that if you get into the Kick Partner program, they actually pay you like an hourly wage to stream rather than just like what you earn from ads and subs and stuff, which is honestly interesting, but I don't understand how it's like sustainable. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Unless they plan to like kick you out of the program if you're not earning them enough money. Because the way the Twitch Partner one works now is it makes sense because you only, you only, you know, are as useful as what you earn. Whereas if Twitch were paying you and you weren't paying that back to them by bringing more people onto the platform and stuff and watching ads, they'd just be losing money on you. So I don't know if kick kick people out, pun not intended. I'm not sure. It's owned by a gambling website, I think they'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's as simple as they're making too much money to give a shit. And yeah, I'm, I'm not sure as well, Robotic Freeze, as you're saying. I don't know if you have to stream X amount of hours or what. I don't know what the contracts are, because obviously I've never streamed on Kick and don't plan to. I do wonder how much money they get offered, though. Like, are we talking, like, you know, five figures, six figures, seven figures? Because, like, for Sega, seven figures, I would completely understand why people would start streaming on Kick. Like, I get it, you know? Dead. Yeah. You you legit get one chance, and if you slow down at all, you're just done. Definitely me a bag that big, I'd happily sell out. That's the thing. Like, this, this is what I keep saying. It's like, 
We need to jack a truck on the freeway. Where do your morals stand? Like, everybody has a price. If Kick was like, yo, Ben, we're going to pay you 10 million a year to stream on Twit, uh, on Kick. Like, you'd be stupid not to. Like, you could, you could wipe all your tears away that nobody watches you anymore with your $10 million every single year. Like, that would be ridiculous. But if they were like, oh yeah, 10k a year, I'm like, you know, I'm good, man. Awesome. Uh, it looks like it, Dimitar, yeah. We could maybe try using the barrier. But as I say, like, the issue is like, it's really dangerous to drive into oncoming traffic like this. I guess you just cut in like this on the barrier. But they, they speed up, look. Like, I, I caught up with it so quickly there and I'm going faster now than I was then. I slowed down for like a second to try and get Caesar to get onto the thing. And then just instantly, the truck just demolishes me. And even going maximum speed on an NRG, I can't catch up with it. Like the the, the fucking truck must must like rubber band or something. Because it goes from like, it goes from no speed at all to just completely smoking me in a second. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. I don't know. It's weird. Very weird. What's the plan? I'm gonna pull alongside, and you gonna hop aboard. Oh shit! You didn't mention that on the phone. It'll be a walk to the park. Tell Kendall I love her. There's a rig up ahead. Why the 16 by 9? Why not? This mod includes um, widescreen fix and stuff, so why not? The simple answer is because it doesn't work in 4x3. It's so hard to maintain your speed when this thing goes at the speed of sound. There we go. I've just got to try and not die. Did the guys despawn? Yeah, it barely works on 16 by 9 yeah. Yeah, these guys just despawned, I guess. Cool. This thing is so fast. Okay, CJ, let's get this rig back to the garage. Is there no dividers to let me turn around? Right here. I ideally want to turn around without detaching this thing. this up. Have you t can you tell I'm really shit at Euro Truck Simulator? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Showing off those luck, uh, lack of skills even. We ever a console gamer? I was a console gamer from like when I was a young child all the way up until I got my first PC in like 2012. So yeah, like half my life I was nothing but consoles because I didn't know how good PC was. Yeah, I, I played uh, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, then Xbox 360. Those were like my line of consoles. My favorite console from my childhood is PS2 and it's not even close. Like 90% of my games on PS2. Uh, I'll take a felt sir. It's nothing personal, I'm just a criminal. 
I want to scavenge a PS2 for Trilogy, uh, GTA Trilogy OG experience. It's fun. would recommend. My favorite console now is also PS2. I mean, same. Yeah. Can't disagree with that. Oh, let's take the boat back across. Uh, if you want a link to the playlist, just ask the bot for it. Just say, hey bot, can I have a link to the playlist? And it'll link it to you. I did also have a Game Boy as well. And a DS growing up. I had some Nintendo stuff. Sanchez. That's a nice convenient spawn. Good change so far. Let's hope this mission continues to be good. But Nintendo is never popular here. They were definitely popular globally, but I can't speak for specific... Um, like regions and stuff but like the wii is like one of the best selling consoles of all time as is the ds i'm pretty sure i can't speak for game boys and stuff i'm not sure but the wii and the ds were massive Uh, do I have rockets? No. Ten. Oh. All my friends had a DS when I was young except me. Way. Too steep. Looking back on it, when I soft modded my Wii at age 15, I, it was clear I would end up doing something with computers. I mean, yeah, you are a fucking turbo geek, so makes sense. All right. Ah, uh, doing this with no lock on is fun. Oh, and not even homing rockets, of course, as well. So you only got 10 rockets. Damn, that's not a lot. Because then you don't have a fucking crosshair. These give me something? Oh, there's more rockets here. Around explosive barrels, of course. And there isn't even. Oh, okay. Cool. I thought I was stood far enough away, but apparently not. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. Can't remember what I was going to say. Nothing important. <sighs> I mean, no lock-on makes sense because there's no lock-on in the vanilla game unless you go out of your way to get the homing rockets, but the pickup doesn't exist in this mod, I assume. So you're not intended to have lock-on in vanilla either. No, there, there is none with the RPG, Mackenzie. Uh, what am I doing? I need to go up here. 
with the RPG, there is there is no crosshair at all. At least none that I can see. I've used it in dark places and the same thing. Right. See? Like you you would see it against this surface. Nothing. Probably a leftover when this mod had no crosshair or anything. Yeah. Trash change. Yeah, I agree. The the lack of crosshair is really stupid in this mod. It just makes it more annoying. It doesn't make it harder. Sprint and get these fucking things. Then let's tactically blow up all the barrels so we don't die. Is that all of them? There's one there as well. And now. We'll, we'll do our best to take some fucking helis down. Coming after me. Yeah, they are look. Hey bro. A deagle cop? That is so cheap. Fuck you. So cheap. A fucking deagle cop. That is disgusting. You should feel ashamed. I got a double kill there. One explosion destroyed the other. It's really good. Yo, much goes, thanks. So, the Deagle Cop, epic. Officer. Divertly rebalance the police. Yeah, by rebalanced it, he, he meant to say make them really stupid and broken. Okay, get the package back to Las Brujas. Where are you? You giving me the heebie jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching or listening or both. Officer. So after the first city, the mod gets better? No. At no point has this mod changed from anything except bad. Oh, I need to go this way. Where the fuck am I going? There's a heli coming after me. Hey look, and uh, fucking roadblocks too. Cool. I have a feeling I'm gonna get deleted if I dare go that way, so. Yep. Cool. That's really awesome.
I'm like basically dead now. Yep. 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 What a cool mission. They make it so right at the end of a really long mission, you just get insta-killed. That's really fucking fun and interesting. So cool, man. Such a good change. Why would Dinosaur Bites do this? See you later, Arline. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, Pen Fox, for the eight months. Welcome back. Thank you. Yo, yeah, relative degree, thanks for the GL. Why did I take so much damage from that? It was like nowhere fucking near me. Uh, I don't like all this being here. Had bit chaotic, I'm not going to lie. Dude, I'm sick. I'm gonna get Deagle for my troubles. The helis are normally that fast in vanilla, so I'm not shocked by it. Their first like approach is really fast and then they slow down when they start hovering and dropping off guys. So they're not too difficult to take out. What I should have done in hindsight, because I didn't know how lethal that helicopter was on the way back. What I should have done is I should have just um, shot a rocket at that roadblock and just blasted through them. Get off, shoot a rocket and just drive through. That's what I should have done in hindsight, but I just wasn't thinking in the moment. Didn't expect the heli to one shot me basically. My bad. <clears throat> Go officers. Shooting circles around them. Okay, get the package back to Las Brujas. Where are you? You giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. So I don't play Counter Strike. I will always be watching or listening or both. Gonna so bad. It's bad at long range. It's really good at short to mid range, and that's where I use it. Shoot 
should. Hell no. Yo, Smithy, welcome. Oh, the fucking heli spawns right there. Oh boy. Well, that makes this more complicated. Let's just go around the other way and see if there's anything blocking me that way. Or can I just go around this way? Seems fine. Cops. So the main difference in that mod is you get insta-killed at the end if you don't know what you're doing. Well, epic. This road, I'm dumb. Ooh. Gotta go catch a bus to attend uni tomorrow? Bro, how long is the bus? Bro, I was getting on a 14 hour coach ride to university every day. See that demo Tardex for hanging out. Whoa! Radical. Seven hours? Jesus fucking Christ. I was joking, but... No, my bike! Wonder if they changed the asset price for the Amanda Airport to a dollar for the memes. I've been told that they're all more expensive, not less, so... I would be shocked if it was less than the regular price, which is, what, 70k? Hey Ben, day off work, mate? No, I'm at work right now, dude. How was the monster mission? Uh, kind of annoying. You have to do it in under four minutes with this, which is kind of garbage. Such a treat to see you online. Such a treat to see you here. What is that? Collectible? Counterfeit chips. Real shit. Yep. Working hard or hardly working. XD. True. Touch my work in an hour now. Maybe I should do something. Nah, fuck it. This is way better than work. How much is it? 120k? Bro, I don't have enough because I bought fucking Wang cars and zero. Fuck's sake. I don't have enough money. Watch out. Torino's friends are coming for you. What the fuck? Why are Torino's friends coming after me? Come on then, you fucking smelly dickheads. Come on. I can do you in, but I'll, I'll do you in, all of you. you know what this Outplayed. Outplayed. Fuck you. Alright, well, cool, I guess. Fucking random dudes coming at me. Did they even drop any money? Yeah, can I imagine if they dropped me 20k? That'd have been real shit. 
Uh, I guess we can go and collect our asset money back in San Fierro. So far away. There's no plane, right? No. Yeah, we might have to do that on Firefighter, I guess. Fuck, oh, man. Hello. 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 I have to go all the way back. This is so AIDS. Uh, the entire map unlocks after Yekaboom Boom, Mackenzie. So we can go LV if we want to. Go gambling. Legit. It's 120k, so black light. So if you buy uh, zero and one cars, you don't get enough from missions to... Even if you do all the missions, you don't get enough money. And that's with spending nothing on other expenses, like, you know, guns and armor and other properties and shit. Kind of time to do gambling. I'm going to go and collect my money from uh, zero and one cars. And with any luck... Um, we might have enough, but I don't think we do. So we might have to do like firefighter or something. Oh. Whoops. They're coming after me again. Is this just going to be a thing now? Where I'm just going to get randomly shot at by M4s for the rest of the playthrough? Like that is, that is not cool gameplay at all. That's just really fucking annoying. Horse betting? Again, like, I don't need that much money. It's not faster to do horse betting than it is to just do something like Firefighter. Random events? Wow. Randomly getting shot by M4s is such a cool mechanic, lol. So interesting. We'll head back up here and we'll just go straight across the San Fierro. Before they don't despawn ever. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> I'm getting chased because apparently once you've done X amount of Torino's missions, you just start randomly getting chased by goons. Madness. Don't accidentally buy a bulletproof Patriot. How would I accidentally do that? I have to press two specific keys and hold them down. Isn't Sorino kind of your ally? Yeah. So it makes no sense that these guys are coming after you and killing you. Like, narratively, it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, right, where do I need to be? I need to be over here. What kind of sense does it make? None. Makes absolutely none. Oops. Yeah, how much money is this giving me? Probably not a lot. It hasn't been that long since I did it. Yeah, two grand. That's nothing. Yo, Sham, welcome. Three grand. Grove Street has like 5k cap too. I don't even know, but it's not worth going there. I'd be better off just going and doing Firefighter in San Fierro for a bit, I think. Pretty sure a fire truck spawns literally down the street. I also try the Xbox cars. Again, just a waste of time. Assuming that Firefighter isn't modified, this is by far the quickest way to get money. Just 
just hope that they're not too annoying doing it in San Fierro rather than LS. So I've never done them in San Fierro before. I say that the first one's immediately on the highway, which is by default annoying. Uh, maybe this will be super annoying. Who knows? You only get $40. Is that normal? Or are the rewards nulled? I have a feeling the rewards might be nerfed. Yeah, it does scale. It's exponential. But I don't think it usually gives you $40. Maybe I'm wrong. Thank you. Might take us a while to get this 14k. It's 200 for one normally, so it's gonna take forever to get them out of money then. Fuck's sake. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, VOD friends skip forward 200 hours. Yeah, this is also just terrible game design is making all these things expensive because it completely ruins the flow of the game. Even if you do all the missions available to you, you don't have enough money to continue. Go back on the thing again. Yeah, just terrible design. There's nothing fun about being forced to do money grinding in a game where you just want to be playing linear missions. a challenge but I feel so challenged right now I feel fucking mentally challenged yeah the abandoned airport is 120k wouldn't casino be quicker no With, with the hindsight knowledge that this is nerfed, it would have been faster if I'd have gone straight to LV and gone to the casino, probably. But, yeah. Boss betting. Again, would have been faster in hindsight, but now I'm already doing Firefighter. It is no longer faster. And there's no way to know that the rewards are nerfed because the game doesn't communicate that with you until you do them. And yeah, I would like to become fireproof. That is a nice benefit as well. Very true. Uh, this is an awkward place to get to. Without flipping. I'll just get a safe way down. Yeah, I probably will have to go over level 12 to get enough money. Yeah. There's almost no doubt in my mind that I'm going to have to go to like level 25 or some shit. And also regarding horse betting and stuff as well. If this is nerfed, there's a good chance that... um. Horse betting is also nerfed as well. Because it's pretty clear that the ways to make money are just nerfed. To make this game far more boring. And long for no reason.
The reward for each level is divided by five. Nice. You get a bonus when you stop the mission? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it just tells you your total earnings from memory. I... You, it's not the fact that what you're saying would make you an annoying backseat to madness. Like, I'm trying to tell you this in a respectful way, but you're just wrong. Doing this until I get fireproof, and then, then going all the way to, like, the betting shop and fucking reloading saves until I fucking win a horse race is, like, by far the slowest way right now to get 120k. Like, that is minutes slower than my current method. Yeah, like, I would have to go all the way to LS. And even then, like, that assumes that, one, I get lucky enough to win a decent race, which is, you know, it's not likely, it might take ages. And two, that it isn't already nerfed, because all the other ways of getting money are also nerfed. Like, it's just, it's just stupid to even think about going there right now. It would just be slower, and it might not even work in the first place. There's no reason to go. I got 2k from uh, Wang Cars and 3k from Zero, which was, you know, nothing. Useless. Oh, that's the end of Firefighter. Level 10. That's it. I guess we just restart. Cool. So we need to do level 10 again to get another 5k. And then another time. I think it was 12. No, it was 10. I did 10 levels and it said on my screen, level 10 completed, you are now fireproof. It was 10. Like, is there merit to saying that 10 levels for 100% is better? Yes. 12 is unnecessary, I would say. But, it, again, it has a knock-on effect of it's impossible to make money and you need a lot of money to beat all the missions. It just becomes boring. The, the obvious thing to do here is change it to 10 levels, but make it so you still get the same amount of money as you do in vanilla for doing it. Like, nerfing the amount of money per level is just stupid and just ruins the flow of the game. Like, I absolutely understand what they were going for. Because if you farm too much money, then you can become overpowered, and that's obviously not good for the game either. It wants you to stop becoming overpowered. But punishing regular players who aren't abusing money exploits by making the game far more boring for them because they have to grind money is not a good solution. It's a terrible solution.
Well, Hades, that's the thing, is... Any person who makes a hard mode mod nowadays, Hardline was exactly the same, is, like, really controlling about what they want the player to have access to and what they don't. Like, all the pickups are removed so that you can't farm ammo because it would make it too easy. You know? All the packages are removed so you can't get things like tanks and whatever else, like... At least with Hardlined. That's, like, the whole point of what they're going for, is they're, like, deliberately controlling what you can and cannot do. I want to make for a, a mod for a game I like where a lot of the experience is boring, tedious, and time-consuming. Nice. Good luck with it. Let me know when you've made it, and I'll play it on stream. Yeah, you're limiting the player's options. Again, conceptually, it sounds like a good idea, but in execution, it just makes the game more boring. So it's not a good solution. You need to go back to the drawing board and think of another one. By the way, the betting shop is nerfed. Yeah, so there you go. I thought it would be, but I just I'm not. I can't be bothered to prove it. Uh, how the fuck do I get onto this? I guess I'll just take this for a. Like, I can kind of understand betting the nerfing, uh, betting the nerfing shop, nerfing the betting shop. Because the betting shop, you can become like a billionaire within five minutes. And obviously you can buy infinite ammo for all of the hardest guns in the game. Like, that makes sense. Nerfing that in some way makes sense. Nerfing Firefighter, I think it's pretty stupid. Firefighter isn't that broken. It's just necessary to, for me to beat the game. I'm not doing this to become overpowered. I'm doing this so I can actually progress. Where's this one? Ugh. Gross. Did you even become fireproof? I mean, I don't know. I can't really test it right now. I'm, I'm busy. You know? I can test it once I save the game later. Just remind me. It would be pretty shitty if you were advertised as uh, fireproof and then... weren't, no. That would be pretty shitty. Even for this developer. Uh, let's cut across here. What could possibly go wrong? Clueless. Crucial special. Yeah. I'm doing it out of necessity, man. I'm not resetting it. That's that's what makes me different. I'm doing firefighter missions because I need $120,000 to buy the airstrip. I didn't have enough money. Uh, it's unfair to compare Oryx. They're two completely different mods. Because Hardline changed a bunch of things and rewrote entire missions, whereas this d hasn't done any of that unique concept stuff. Yeah, Hardline was mo more creative. Hardline was one of the most creative mods I've ever seen. It was just the execution was terrible. 
and the dev's attitude was shitty, to put it, you know. Put it very lightly. You know, it would be a great meme if Vigilante was made to simply have every, every, every enemy with a shotgun. Or better yet, an RPG. That would be really funny. Or a minigun or something. Past 12, yeah. All right, we've got 120k. Let's go. We're gonna be completely broke after we buy this. But we're done. I had to do two full fucking things of firefight. I had to pass the mission twice. Just to get like what? 10 grand? Christ. Yo, Dingleberry Surprise. What a great name. First message in the chat 500 bits. What a fucking legend. Giga Chad Mentality. Thank you. Yo, Pliskin, welcome. I'm good, how are you? Hope you're all good. Hey. He even made changes to Zero's missions, so it wasn't like you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, all the missions, the, the op optional assets that I bought were all modified, so you're obviously intended to do them. And if you weren't, they should be disabled, you know? If you're like, if Dad's like, no, you should not be doing these missions, so. I just want to complain, you are making too much content. I have no time to catch it all. That's the thing with the, uh, with upping my hours, right? Is I'm like producing like, like double to triple the amount of hours. And you know, suffering from success, not everybody can consume everything. Um, all I can do is apologize. Alright, um, I want to be over train tracks. Watching 2x, yeah. That's that's the way for optimal consumption. Four videos across, you know, your six monitors each. Four videos each, and then 2x speed all of them. Skill issue. True. TikTok.com slash Eben when? Right now. Consuming all of the content easily. What a flex. Maximizing the profits. I've heard that TikTok pays creators really fucking shittily. But I haven't looked into it myself, but that's what I've heard. That like, for the amount of views that you get, getting paid by TikTok, you get paid like nothing. Yo, Corey, good afternoon, welcome. YouTube Shorts more lucrative, yeah. YouTube Shorts are nice as well, because I already have like a YouTube setup, right? So, you know, I already have it all coming into one place. They do, it's criminal, yeah. I, was like, I don't know about the numbers specifically, but all I know is that I've heard it's garbage. All right, flight school time, how exciting. One streamer looked into it and 1 million views are around $20. Yeah, that's just nothing. 1 million views, $20. 1 million views on YouTube will get you like several thousand. Yeah.
Short to everything it isn't in the dodo. Been lurking, so glad we're still not on that bouncy monstrosity. Yeah, we're all good. It's not regulated like ansets or anything. That doesn't, that doesn't surprise me at all, to be honest with you. Uh, nice box. Did you guys see that? The box is like completely misaligned. Perfect mod though, by the way. No issues. No issues. Absolutely. Well, I'm missing the last hour. Uh, I had to grind money via firefighter because the airship cost 120k and I didn't have enough money. So I had to do two full rounds of firefighter start to finish, level one to level 10 twice and then I could afford it because they nerfed the firefighter money as well which was very epic you're just entitled I know I know what can I say what can I say The cam is shaking because I'm tapping my leg and it's hitting my desk and that causes my webcam to shake. It's weird because I've been doing this like forever, but all of a sudden people have started mentioning it. Like you're not the first person to mention it. But I've been doing it for years and nobody mentioned it for years. I, I don't get the shakes. I just, I don't know. I just tap my leg out of like, instinct. I don't know. And then when I do it a bit too hard, it starts going a bit mental. If you were to stock up at ammunition for every mission, you'd legit have no money to buy an asset required for the story. Uh, no Super Black White, it's even better. If you do all of the missions, when you get them available, you can't afford an asset without grinding money. You don't even, without buying any guns or other properties. If you do all of the missions given to you, you can't afford uh, the airstrip. Can we get a keyboard cam? If I uh, shake my leg enough, the camera might fall down and it might look at my keyboard. So maybe. I have a shot the marker, but it should be fine. Lady, I just feel like I can't get you out of my mind. Feel love for the first time, and I know that it's true. I can tell by the look in your eyes. What a song this is. What an absolute disgusting wobbler, if you will. It's a heckin' pelter, isn't it? It's an absolute helter skelter of a belting pelter. Agreed. I missed one. I missed two. Ow. I didn't miss one. No, I did miss one. I didn't miss two. That is absolutely dutty. Turn that up. What is that? Garage. I haven't seen that video in so long. Until you just mentioned it. That's a good video. The 
this to Mako again. It should be fine. Back any good missions? I mean, when did you leave? Is this outfit you're doing? Uh, kind of, but not really. There's random outfit pickups on the map, but you don't know what they are until you pick them up. So whenever I see them, I just grab them. And they, like, give you random outfits. My original drip included a yellow cooking, a clucking bell t-shirt and some golden wellies, and that looks pretty good. But then I picked up a thing and ruined it, like, instantly. So flight school wasn't changed at all, I don't think. At least not anything that I recognized. Interesting. Usually the infamous stuff like wrong side of the tracks and whatnot is modified quite heavily. I really expect you to be forced to get golds, so yeah. Same. Actually see the corona. Oh, it's to incentivize you to fly over Area 69, I guess. Oh, there's only a minute. Oh shit. Okay, so we have to go over it, I think. I don't know. Do I have to? I feel like I can just go around and still be fine. Okay. Well, this mission is a lot shorter. basically just have to deal with uh, scary things. But we can eat a rocket unless they've nerfed the health of the plane. Or not. We can't eat two though. Hmm, interesting. Wrong save. Wrong save. Yeah, the mission is a lot uh, shorter, which is nice. I just fly straight over the fucking army base and see what happens. Because I didn't even get a wanted level the last time. When I went over on the way back. Like, they don't even seem to care. It's not hard on OG. The only thing that makes it annoying on OG is on PC, uh, random trees like pop in out of fucking nowhere, which is just like pure bullshit. Yeah, now I'm being shot at. Yeah. They only care on the way back, I guess. Yeah, I'm dead. 
And even if I'm not dead, I can't turn around because they shot my wing. It's really hard to land on the airstrip when you're getting shot at by stuff. Because if they shoot your wing, you just can't turn at all. I mean, I guess we'll go, just go round on the way back. If they don't care on the way there, like... I don't know, it's weird why they only care half the time. Stalking you, welcome. Try and line up the angle before I get shot. No. I'm dead. Get shot once and die. Get shot twice last time, die. Get shot once the time before and survive. It just depends where they shoot you. Like, if you get shot in the middle, you're going to blow up. But if you get shot in the wing, you survive. Like, is it random? Yo, D Bear, welcome. The chicken I bought two hours ago is good until 26th of Feb. What, so you just bought it out of date? Um, you should go back to the place where you bought it from and complain because it is, at least here, very illegal to have uh, expired meat on the shelves. Expired anything, but especially expired chicken. Month out of date, yeah. You would easily get compensation for the supermarket if you went and complained. If you care enough to. Some people don't, but I would. Because you'll probably get like a voucher or something. It's like a bit of a wider approach. Yo, Pete's Phil, welcome. Not too bad of a mission. Um, I'd honestly even say that's a good change, because it's shorter, it's more difficult, but easily doable if you're good enough. Definitely can't really complain about that one. I didn't even do the speedrun strat to skip the dialogue either. So the mission can be even shorter if you're good enough. The strat to skip the dialogue, yeah. If you land and uh, buffer an exit input, you'll exit out of the vehicle and it skips the dialogue and the, pa the mission passes straight away. But it's difficult to time the buffered input. Because obviously if you do it too early, you'll just fall out the fucking thing and die. Which is a little oh, embarrassing. I fuck this up, by the way. Get away with it. Idiotic mammal. But can you just speed on this or what? What's the deal? Yeah. Okay. Literally nothing about that is modified. Okay. <laughs> oh, I died. I think that's because of the autosave. I think I was told about this. Uh, it's unfortunate, because I lose my big weapons. But I would rather, um... 
But I would rather die and lose my weapons than not have the autosave, because the autosave is useful. No satchel. Did it just not give me a satchel at all? Or did I just not use it, but it was in my inventory? Not giving you a satchel at all is interesting. Is Or really, did the autosave kill you again instantly? Probably. Oh, no. If I get to keep all my shit, then let's go. Big brain chat? No, big brain you. You are the one who said that. There being no satchel is interesting, because again, like, you know, people aren't going to know the speedrun strat it's not obvious so if, the, if you just don't get a satchel that's like really fucked up to like the gta forums drillers because you know like you just can't do the mission the intended way you've got to learn like a strat that isn't obvious at all like as i say average casual people who play mods don't get stuck on a mission and look up speed runs on how to do it because speedrun strats are usually quite difficult to reproduce if you're not super good at the game. Like, weird. And there's a satchel inside. Maybe there is. I don't know. Yo, Shura, thanks for the prime. Welcome. Almost like making you fly the dodo in a difficulty mod. Which mod makes you fly the dodo, Mackenzie? Because if you're talking about Titan Thrice, you don't have to fly it. Actually. Oops. This way. I always get baited by this. Whatever, man. Actually. Ah! And got my back, yeah. Always did. Thanks, dude. Thanks a Great lot. traffic. Uh, is there an armor spawn here? I assume not, but it's worth looking at because it will be very beneficial. Uh, of course not. They have no way I bother, to be honest. Has the music been removed from interiors in here? Nope. Gotta fucking manually mute the game to avoid DMCA claims. Epic. Did we try it being fireproof? Actually works. Oh no, we didn't. Let's uh let's do this. Do I have anything that I can set fire to? Oh, I do have a satchel, by the way. So all that stuff that we were saying about before, irrelevant. Uh, let's just fucking shoot a rocket and call some fire. Yeah, we are fireproof. There you go. <sighs> Uh, it's planning planning to have that, yeah, plan deal. Uh, I plan to put this on main channel, edited down, yeah. Okay. Nice. Good. Game crash number six, I think. Not bad for a mod that never crashes and is perfect. Uh, 
Yeah, it is, Debo. Warm it up, Kane. It's fine, Smithy. I can just mute the game. Yes, Halogen. Also that, yes. You got any idea in that pea brain head of yours? Who the fuck oh, quite I am? Nah, but I think I'm gonna find out. And random clutter and crap, so we can't do one of the speedrun shreds. You are messing with the wrong people. That's not even fast, so. Hey, you think you're smart, but you're not. You're not. Hey, Leo, thank you. The gel. What are you doing now? This is the mod that's a challenge. It's supposed to be a challenge, but it isn't. Oh my God. This mod oh dev law. Uh, go and watch the first session of this on uh, my VOD channel. You'll, you'll see it. Hey, you think you're smart, but you're not. You're not. What are you doing now? The family. All right, so this mission is no different to an actual speedrun. Do you know of anyone considering doing a speedrun of this? I know that Hugo has already done one. I remember seeing it. He's already done a single segment run of it, I think. At least I assume it was single segment. How'd you change Stowaway? I mean, I don't know. I'd have to take some time to think about it. Was that an outfit pickup? Oh, I didn't see it if it was. My bad. Uh, okay. Oh, and the clutter. Um, I go there quite a lot, so I'll I'll pick it up later on. <clears throat> Yo, micro. Yeah, we're on the well into LB now. <coughs> hey, look at Deluxo. In the context, just watch this four hour video. You don't have to watch the whole video, it was at the start. Relax. You have a bad week, huh? I'll make it worse for that. Yeah, there's also a, a comment where someone literally timestamps when it starts if you don't want to watch the whole thing from the beginning. Ah. You don't have clearance for this area. Always bitch and whine and you'll get exactly the answers that you're looking for. True. Where's your safety gear? So it's just becoming a normal GTA SA playthrough. Yeah. LV so far has been a complete normal playthrough. We're only two missions in, but 
nothing has changed so far. Is it worth to check out the quarry missions? I'd assume not. Ah, oh, nice. Instantly popped my back tire. That's fair. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> Lol. The first change in LV? Insta-kill mechanic. Cool. Interesting. Very, very cool and very fair and very fun. There we go, that's the challenge that we're looking for, yeah. Indeed. Nice. Elegy Dragon. Nice little fast vehicle outside the casino. Good change. It's a, it's a shame that, again, they're showered by 10 other bad changes every time I find a good one. Precedent put random garbage in the quarry, yeah. Just fucking barrels everywhere. Would not be surprised. Hey, you can't come down here. Good, hey, Travis. Welcome. There's the night out. Thanks for the good luck. Stay away from that. Welcome stuff. in. Welcome in. Yo, Apache, will come in as well. Where's your safety gear? Someone call security. I plan to do all missions in Ito. As many missions as I can. That's the plan. Wait, I guess we'll just like sit in this corner and try and pick these guys off. Or maybe up here would be good. Oh, chainsaw. Boink. Where are they? I see them. Killed the gunner. I got the driver too, but it's hard to tell. I had a grenade, I'd just drop it off, but I don't. Got him. I not kill the driver. There we go. There we go. Got him. Yeah, the the, the change is the killers. That's it. Now they're dead. That's that's it. I haven't done Black Project and Green Goo yet. Those are done in the route at the end of LV. This SA Hardline? No, it's a it's a completely whole other beast of crap. to the end of Hugo One's run of it on YouTube and he said it was fun. I mean, yeah. Like, a lot of people have have rated this mod well. A lot of people rated Hardlined well as well. Like, you know, people have opinions. Um, at the same time, a lot of people aren't critiquing mods. They're just playing them for fun. 
And if they don't have fun, they don't play them. And if they do, then they enjoy them, you know? Whereas I play mods pretty much... Well, it is fun to stream them and stuff. It is pretty much to critique them. That's why I play them. As a speedrunner, which year do you feel like GTA mods really started to pop? Um, it's a good question. It's kind of hard to tell because I haven't been in the modding scene for too long. Only a couple of years, really. So I'm honestly not too sure. Hardline was bad, but it was content. I mean, yeah. All, mo all mods are good content. All bad mods are good content. This is good content. It's not as good as Hardline, I would say. But this mod sucks, and I would not be playing it if I was if I wasn't streaming it. But I am streaming it, and people are enjoying it, so I play it. I don't hate it that much, you know. Like I'm happy to play this until its conclusion. It's fun enough. Delivery for wolves. Hey, you be careful with that. Yeah, the next mission will be interesting because uh, you've had your chips is one of the hardest missions in vanilla regardless and i have no armor which is going to make it even more difficult but this will be fun that is true apache that's what i've heard anyway it's difficult to verify but i do believe it to be the case but we can already do heist missions Reckon Hardline holds a ton more potential. Yeah, it's just a shame that the dev doesn't give a fuck and thinks that it's fine. So you'll probably never see another Hardline update. Again, if the dev came up and was like, okay, you know, fair enough, like I take all your feedback, I will work on improving it and making it better because I understand that, you know, a lot of people have issues with it. I would rate it as a, like a very high potential mod, but yeah, it, it's it's hard to give it any praise with the stinky attitude of the developer. Make it harder. That's another issue with like comparing hardline to the challenge, right? So if I if I spoke to the hardline developer, I I, I have like specific critiques for him, right? Like, I have ideas for him to make his mod better. But with this one, like, this mod just simply doesn't need to exist. Like, there's no reason to play it. So if if the dev then came to me and was like, okay, so what do I do to make this good? I would be like, man, I don't know. Because, again, like, there's no reason for the mod to exist at all. You, The, the first thing you need to do as a mod developer is give players a reason to play your mod. And right now, this mod has no reason for people to play it. It's just vanilla, but worse. It's just not, not interesting. So I'm going to avoid the fire, purely because um, the fire will stop me from being able to aim with certain weapons. Yeah, 
Hein? Is that a custom shotgun? I can see that. It looks like it, doesn't it? It is. What is that? Even better than the Spaz 12? Huh. Interesting. Where am I getting shot from? Oh, that's why. It's fully automatic. <laughs> that's funny. Fully automatic. Good shit. Okay, so... I have a feeling that if I shoot anywhere here, these uh, barrels have been intentionally placed to, to stop me from skipping the guys outside. So, instead... I'm going to deliberately blow up ones over here instead. And then we'll shoot a rocket here. Yeah, it destroys an extra one intentionally. There we go. <laughs> and even still, there's an insta-kill trap waiting for you outside. Cluster is. See you later, Lola. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, let's take the Hustler. That's what it has a bike. Alright. Alright. Alright, well I'm not about to take half my health loss before I even start the mission, so I guess I'll just reload the save. My folder about GTA stuff is now 72 gigs. That is rookie numbers, man. Gotta get those numbers up. I played Dark Souls or Souls like games? I have. I used to speedrun Dark Souls 1 like five years ago. It's available on my VODGE channel. Looks sick. Well, I went to dodge the fire, but that didn't really go too well.
Yeah, I, I have a massive hard drive that's just like dedicated to GTA stuff. I don't know about how big it is, but it's the best part of two terabytes. 1.6 terabytes, I think, something like that. Full. like data from mods and such or video recordings no it's just like a big mods folder and stuff it's not i have a i have another drive dedicated to video all right same thing again one two if you're wondering what i'm doing here by the way um, so the game is scripted to, as soon as you destroy exactly three, um, like, of these machines, it'll spawn a guy out here that has a Spaz-12. I can only imagine he's worse in this mod. That will absolutely fucking destroy you. Um, so what you do is you destroy two, and then you destroy the third and the fourth one at the same time by, like, a rocket or something, like this. And then at no point in the script is the number of ones that you've destroyed ever three because you go straight from two to four, so you skip that trigger. It's a little handy dandy way to make this mission extremely trivial for you. If you're ever struggling with it. Okay, let's see where these insta-kill guys are that are spawned by the mod regardless. He spawned behind me. That's epic. Shut up, huh? You are going down, pal. Was that the guy that shot me? He had the same gun. Okay, I'm just gonna get in the car to be safe. There's a guy with a rifle somewhere as well. I can hear him. But I can't see him. Yeah, just getting fucking wrecked by. Cool. Yeah, just shot in the back. So cheap. But not at all surprising. Yo, Vietis, welcome. How you doing, baby? On top of the containers, but I missed him. <laughs> Do you need to get that armor after all? No, I don't. All I've got to do is not get shot in the back point blank by a guy with a fucking MP5. Or whatever gun he has. That's all that needs to happen for this mission to be extremely easy. I don't know why I took this route, it's not faster. I just feel up there. Fuck's sake, I've got to go yeah. Excuse me.
I don't even know why I don't just go round, to be honest. Like, what's the point in going over the ramp? It's not even beneficial. Shooter. I believe it's a good to leave certain barrels to aid with your escape. I don't need them, and they would just get me killed because I'd forget about them, and all it takes is one NPC to shoot them, and I'm dead. Like, there's no need. Not to my knowledge, Chaser Dev, no. Still a guy here. You wanna get guy with a deagle. Thing? I always forget about him. So where is this guy spawned from with the SMG? No. Where? Where is he? I swear he wasn't there a second ago. Where has he come from? Maybe he runs like around? From this way? Like, I don't know. So bizarre. They can shoot me through that, but I can't shoot them. Good shit. There's a guy on top of the containers, you say? How am I not hitting them? Yet? Fuck this game and it shit hit boxes, man. There we go. What is that? PSG. Epic. Uh, LVPD is not ideal. I guess I'll just take one of these. <clears throat> Alright, off we go. Fucking barrels respawn back in because fuck you. the police cars have a nice recolor. Yeah, sure. Some of the cosmetic stuff in this mod is great. It's a shame that the gameplay and the actual gunplay and stuff is way more important than cosmetic changes. All the cosmetic stuff is great. Well, great might be a push, but... 
A lot of it's quite good. No random crap ever in LV? Seemingly not. At least uh, from what I've noticed. Not nearly as bad as LS anyway. Yo, will be getting no more trouble with them counterfeit shit. <sighs> Uh, let me check this as an outfit that you mentioned. Gun. What about says the outfit? You said like run the back of the casino or something? Can't see it anywhere. By the entrance to this parking lot? Alright, party's arrived. Entrance is on the south side, right? Over here. Oh here. I walked right past it. Cool. I love I haven't lost a mask. I picked up this picked up this mask like all the way at the start of San Fierro, I think, and I just haven't lost it the entire time. Even though I keep getting new clothes. They all just keep the mask on. Look, a Sultan taxi. How useful for this mission. I'm not sure, Relics. I don't remember their original prices. But they're definitely not any cheaper. I'll say that. Put more effort into customization in outfit and cars than effective mission design. Yeah. Exactly. That, that does seem to be a problem with this mod. Is there were too many hours spent on cosmetics and not enough spent on actual gameplay. So you end up with a mod that's visually great, but it plays like shit. And I'd rather have one that looks ugly that plays well than the other way around, you know. Hey TechPixel, welcome. So where's the rest of the band, guys? 
Maka, where are the boys? I don't fucking know, do I? I remember snakes. Lots of snakes. It's a snake farm not too far from here. We can go check it out. Alright, this guy's gonna have like rockets or something. What's the, what's the crack? Here we are. There's a lot of crap around them. They all just run in a different direction. Okay. Everybody in the core. Seems you boys had a good time. Hey, what about the bang? We'll just have to pray oh, guys, hurry up. civilization. Keep all this thing from the ten of Which casino is my car's gonna explode if these guys don't hurry up. Fucking hell. Almost got deagled to death. Got my tire popped, which is lovely. Big floppy sausage tits, empty saddlebags are bee stings. Rosie's a man. And stop touching yourself. It's just for comfort, Pablo. This is a stressful situation, man. You're fucking telling me it is. Ah, oh, can it, you two? Hey, he started it. Uh, okay, Ranger. Do you want me to, like, when I give them out on stream or something? Or, like, give them out to the stream? All it takes is one more unlucky bike spawn and they're gonna shoot me to death. Which is bad because these guys might not get out in time and whatever else. I literally didn't have a choice but to ram him then because it was either that or he shoots me dead. Got one more straight. Yo, Bobby, welcome. Oh, there's more crap. Sort of gun over there as well. Come on then. Let's go in and see Rosie. What's this? I'm gonna like heavy pistol there. Maybe a deagle or something. Yeah. What is this? Oh, is it the roof? Oh, yeah. It's a cool feature. A lot of you is affluent and not full of trash everywhere. Well, it's not full of every tra trash everywhere, but yeah, there is a lot of garbage here for some reason. Nice bullet. I was really lucky when I played it since I finished the mission in the second try because I panic fired the RPG multiple times since I had no crosshair. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. M my first try was to fucking shoot the RPG, but I just shot it twice, saw that it wasn't doing anything, and assumed, oh, well, they're probably explosive proof. <sighs> On an interesting gameplay, that is. That's not the first time that's happened, by the way. That is that is that is not the first time that there's been a car somewhere and if you get in it you just get instantly killed. It's just yeah. Great game design. I haven't got the call yet in the auto save, fuck's sake. What was the other time? Uh, on Ice Cold Killer, there's another insta-kill trap. 
one of the cars there is the same thing. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Yo. So here I am, about to try and rescue right. some guy that's scared half to death. If he wake up the wall, uh, ew, excuse me. Yunk. <laughs> did I wash your hand? Did did I did I wash your hands? No, but I washed mine. I did wash my hands, yes. He's a speedrunner, true. And all speedrunners wash their hands. So true, Bestie. I'm so true and real and true and real for that. Hello, sir. Can I help you? No, you can't help me. Did you cancel the towel animation? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> cancel the towel animation. Sorry, bro. <clears throat> All right. Right side junction. Insta passing the wiping. I'm gonna make my fucking chap and my only in a minute. I swear down. That one is moving, this one is not. I would laugh if the change in this was um that the moving ambulance is the correct one and it's leading me on a wild goose chase the wrong way. Is this from GTA 3 or something? Uh this is LCS, I think. Either that or GTA 3. I don't remember which one, but yeah, it's it's one of the two. Well, this definitely looks like a mafia guy. Aha! Uh -huh. People coming after me. Ow. Number one strat to do when you start getting chased by people, drive on the grass. Confuses their pathing. This guy just happened to pick the same way, but then he got fucked anyway. Oh. They do teleport these guys, I think. So I might be better off just destroying them. I don't know. Depends how much damage they do. Because there are some guys that drive sentinels in default in vanilla. And they might just be like the regular default guys, you know? I don't know. Nurse? Hey, nurse. And if they are just the regular guys, then they're like, they're no threat to you at all. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think they're shooting me. Whereas those other guys were shooting me with like MP5s, which is not good because they'll blow up the ambulance really quick. Not careful. They can one-shot Johnny? I don't think so. Maybe with like a really lucky shot through the back of the ambulance, but I've never seen that happen. You'd have to get pretty unlucky for that, I think. What is that? I think it's another spray paint, I think. Hey, Johnny, how you feeling? I didn't think he was going to be discharged till tomorrow. <sighs> I don't know the LV all missions route, so I don't know when is efficient to do um, architectural espionage. I'll probably don't have to fish in a barrel, I guess, would make sense. 
I always see what was changing St. Mark's Bistro. Yeah, it'll probably be a good one. My hope is that you don't have to fly there for two minutes and back because that's boring as hell. But. Appreciate that. Thanks. Hey, look, more crap. There's no cool car parked at Johnny's. Who wants to bet on it being bugged? Two cars, convenient spawns back to back, both being traps would be fucked up. I wonder, is this thing like still rigged? Like, I guess I can't take it at all. Or is it only rigged for like one mission or something? I don't know. Hey, this a visit. See how Johnny is. Win him over with some <laughs> kind words during his convalescence. Uh, well, is... yeah, sure. I can take you by there. Okay, great. What is this? A Euros? A hey, Euros spawns in traffic now. That's cool. I gotta get out of this game. Shit, my nose is pissing like a it's fast as hell, too. That is really good stuff. Drive faster. It's always rigged. It's a GTA 3 reference. So you try great reference. Yes! God, yes. I want to do something the GTA 3 car that's rigged but is a uh, is clearly telegraphed compared to this one that just isn't. Great reference. Hey look, it's the GTA 3 reference but without all the things that makes it actually interesting. Cool. Shit, shit's all down my damn shirt and everything. It's my best shirt too. Doesn't this shirt look good on me? Yeah, that's a good change, putting the Euros back into the car cycle thing. But again, cosmetic change. Doesn't really make a difference in terms of actual gameplay. And all the gameplay stuff is still really bad. Uh, oh, this doesn't have a bailout. Fuck, sorry, Ken. I, a bailout. I, I thought this had a fade, so I was like, oh, the car's on fire, but it's fine because I'll hit the fade. This doesn't have a fade, so that was just really stupid. That's my bad. That was a big, big oopsie. Yo, MH, welcome. Gonna go GitHub post about that red car that always blows up. What was that posted on? Like, what GitHub was that again? I do remember that being a thing. I remember it being really funny. Was it like RE3, I guess? Because that's the only one that had their repo on GitHub. Okay, boss man. It wasn't like a Titan thing or anything. Oh, this is a fixed car. Is this also a trap? Kind words during his convalescence. Oh, it is. Well, yeah, sure. I can take you by there. Okay, great. We need a car. I gotta get out of this game. Sentinel Shit, XR. My nose is pissing like a racehorse. That is really good stuff. Drive faster, which please come on, come on, come on. What are you, an old lady? So you trying to get out? Yes, God, yes. I want to do something safe and legal and boring with people that like me and have a wife and some kids and get divorced and fight for weekend access like everybody else. Listen, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I'm just so tired of all this life and death bullshit. <laughs> Oh, shit, shit's all down my damn shirt and everything. Looks like a car you'd tune up in Need for Speed, yeah, with the uh, the things on the front as well. On the back, sorry. Like the XR, like, decal thing. Yeah. Spoiler on the back. Yeah, Zero got welcome. You want ran or something? Okay, let's get this right. over. No troll on this one. I am the boss, I'm the boss, I am the boss. Shit, they started a fire to keep it must be in the same here somewhere. Fine. Early, no witnesses. God, <laughs> Rosie just got fucked by a shotgun. My bad. Didn't quite didn't quite shoot fast enough. I got the extinguisher. I got the extinguisher. Take those guys out now. This guy's and a water hell. Jesus. Well, what are you waiting for? Screw this. I'm going to hide in the freezer. You want to huh? Is that a rocket launcher? Of course it was. 
Guy spawns in and has rockets. Epic. Why do I have my fucking SMG out? What did I say? What did I, I swear do? I didn't press to do that. Sure. Are we still in Spaz 12 insta kill mode? Oh yeah, 100%. Literally the last mission had a car in it that if you get into it, you just instantly die. And there's no way to know that it's rigged. No way to know. It's just terrible. Who is pushing me? It's the fucking meat. I'm never doing drugs again. Never, ever, ever. Okay, it's clear. Can help my aim. Clear, is it, you say, CJ? You want to get blessed? That well, guy was about to just straight up stun lock me to death. See you later, Smithy. Thanks for hanging out. I take that paper. Alright. Shit, we gotta get the fuck out of here. We need some wheels. Get me back to Caligula's. You calm down and follow See if this thing's rigged too. Holy fuck, man. We work well as a team together, huh, no. CJ? Surprisingly not. Well, my parents are dead. You and cool. me carrying this town up? Nobody can stop us. Nobody in the world. Johnny's a done deep, and so is his gang. Just such a weird thing, because, like, if all of the cars were rigged, if all of the cars were rigged, then you would learn once and you would go, okay, any car that spawns in is rigged. Don't get in them, right? Like, you would learn the lesson, right? But then some of them are and some of them aren't. So you have to potentially die every single time to know if they're actually able to be taken or not. Like, it's just like the worst of both worlds. Like, if you're going to make insta-kills, at least make them consistent. It's a risk and reward thing? Well, no, it isn't. It's just a risk. There's no reward there. The reward is that you get a car, but you could just get a car from elsewhere and it would take you 10 seconds longer. Like, it's not risk versus reward at all. Apparently a, a ship hit a bridge in, near Baltimore and just made it collapse. Jesus. That's uh, not good. Yeah, high risk, zero reward. Is what it is. Hey, look, fast travel place. Where does this take me? To Ganton? Isn't Ganton Grove Street? Isn't Ganton like here? Yeah, it is. You can fast travel to fucking Grove Street. How is. Where is that ever useful? When do I ever go to Grove Street here? It's weird. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Grab money. How do I get back, though? I'd have to fly all the way, way back, right? It's not worth it. I've got 70k, and I don't need to buy anything else, I don't think, so. Uh, right, let's go and do Fish in a Barrel. Visit Denise. Uh, if, you, if she invites you in for coffee, the game crashes consistently, GT. So... You are not intended to visit Denise in this, because if you try, the game crashes. If you do RTLS and didn't do the heist missions, it's kind of useful. How? RTLS? You're already in thingy. Why would you need to come back to LV? Or do you mean if you haven't done the heist missions, so you go back to do them? I guess. That kind of makes sense. But that's a very rare circumstance where that would be useful. Why not create actually useful ones? 
that actually, you know, a, a relevant 99% of the time instead of 1%. Wasn't just me then who crashed? No. And when people re reported that crash, he was just an asshole and said, like, he doesn't care. Classic fucking shitty developers. Oh, you've got a crash? I don't give a fuck. Okay, man. What would be more useful is fixed car spawns that don't explode on entry. True. I'm going to keep a car, actually, for this, because you already get, what, like, four stars at the end of this mission? I can only imagine it's probably going to get worse. So a bike is not ideal for like five, six stars. Maybe Denise explodes on entry too. Maybe. Put that weapon away, sir. This is a pub. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. Sorry. Can I help you, sir? I'd like to see the architectural plans for the Caligula's Casino, please. Okay, I just rather it's been four hours. That's come really quick. Of such plans is prohibited. Yeah, I'm only after some reference. I should play some Simpsons. You'll find the plans on the top floor. I'm on the wrong That's yeah, it Uh, I guess I'll just shoot them. Everybody out. This is not a drill. Oops. I can only imagine if I try and run through these guys, I'm gonna get fucking run through myself. It's probably gonna be guys with like Spaz 12s and stuff waiting around every corner. What do you have? MP5s, same thing, I guess. Did you see the bullets on the wall there? I literally just like shot in a circle around that guy. It's fucking funny. This thing is so inaccurate. Uh, that guy just like insta killed me, by the way. 80% um, of my health gone instantly. Cool. Well, now I'm fucking dead. There's not a lot I can do about it. I'm gonna get absolutely fucking leaded the second I walk out here. You enjoying yourself? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Walk out, instant five stars. My only chance is to get in that car. Of course it's locked. Yep.
Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I'll take this instead. Somebody gonna be mad at you for screwing up their ride. I love how there's no even option to like scare this guy into giving you the camera. It's like, there's a guy with a camera, perfectly innocent, kill him. Murder him in cold blood for no reason. CJ is so based. Let me park like over here. Maybe, maybe this car won't despawn then. I don't have to rely on luck to... Deal with it. Can I help you, sir? I'd like to see the architectural plans for the Caligula's casino. What's the kind of reason for killing someone <laughs> for a camera instead of just getting one? I don't think so. I don't think there is one. Yeah, I'm only after some reference. You'll find the plans on the top floor. Yeah, style flex. But in his defense, that is optional. Don't have to kill that guy. This isn't, as far as I'm aware, unless you pick up a camera from somewhere else already, but obviously, you know, you're not expected to do that. You're expected to kill that guy. Everybody help. This is not a drill. Don't push me. Try again. Where are those damn firemen? Hey, it's low. So hard to see all the smoke and shit too. What do you got them for? I'm out. No idea. Bro. You wanna hold? Got more health this time. My car is there. Run! No way they park right in front of it. Jesus fucking Christ. Yep. Yep. Can't you use this to paint spray? You can spray your vehicle here, right? No? Okay, it just doesn't work, I guess. I could have sworn you can do that. But maybe I'm misremembering or something. Alright, cool. I'm just getting fucking leaded from somewhere. 
You can't, it's a modded car. Well, so if I'd have brought a regular SA vehicle there, I would have been fine. But because I chose a modded vehicle. Oh, for fuck's sake. Cool. So I, I'm getting screwed here because of an oversight. Awesome. And now I'm just dead. Yeah. Yep, I'm dead. And there's nothing I can do. Yep. Yep. Cool. Literally failing missions because of because of the dead making a mistake. But obviously this mod's perfect, of course. Of course, have to do the entire mission again, but do it in a different way because the mod made a, the mod developer made a mistake in the code. But that's my fault, obviously. Absolutely, fucking lootly. awesome. I love redoing missions over and over again due to shit that isn't my fault. Never. So fun and interesting. I can't use this because it's modded. I can't use that because it's modded. Hopefully this buffalo isn't modded. Is there a way to know if it's modded or not? Or do I just have to like kind of guess? Because this obviously a buffalo isn't modded by default, but this could be a modded buffalo for all I know. Like I don't think there's any way to know. This looks vanilla, but... I can't verify that. Oh yeah, true, I can just try it before I go in, yeah. Very true. doesn't work are these disabled are they disabled because you can pay and spray or am i just getting mega fucking trolled here these are all modified vehicles this is a zr this is not modded like yeah do these garages just not work at all thanks a lot Yeah, I guess it's just disabled for no reason. Cool. <sighs> and there's like no other pain spare or anything nearby. Maybe it doesn't work due to on mission one. I mean, is that true? SA players verify? I'm pretty sure you can use those things on mission one, but I don't know. I'd like to see the architectural plans for the Caligula's Casino, please. Okay, sir, are you aware First lower item mission literally had you using a tuning garage while on mission one. True, but that just could be scripted, like you don't know. You'll find the plans on the top floor. You don't know if that's an actual thing or not, or if that's just a mission script allowing it to be used specifically for that mission. Damn firemen! Oh. 
Cool. Yep. It's over again, just like that. Because these guys decide to fucking pre-fire me instead of acting like Destiny Day and normally do. Ah, uh, fucking hell. Alright. We'll do this next time, because I've been playing for way over four hours and I want to play some Simpsons and hopefully finish it. Yo, Osama, welcome. <laughs> Try and finish Simpsons. Uh, I don't remember where I moved. I think I went to. I think I moved. Off right, I think. <laughs> 